Hi everybody, this is Dylan. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Hello, hope everyone's doing well. Today I'm doing a review of this Frozen Classic Storybook set from Mattel. And this is the same as the Raya Classic Storybook set that we took a look at earlier, but just Frozen themed now with different characters, of course. But yes, the packaging is meant to look like a book, which um, in turn is a playset of all of the Frozen characters. So it's just really exciting. But first, hey, <laughs> if you've never met me before, my name is Dylan and I love to collect Disney princess items, in particular dolls. And these Mattel small dolls I'm quite addicted to. I've done a lot of reviews of these. Um, I'm in love with them. So if you enjoy that, please consider subscribing. First, let's take a look at the beautiful packaging. As I said earlier, yes, this is based on a book, but they've used different artwork for every single one they've made. And this beautiful frozen one is just covered in snow and ice. I really love, love the, um, like the snow flurries and like the snow mist. It's just gorgeous. Too bad we're gonna have to destroy it a little bit. <laughs> so you've got like an Elsa snow castle there. Beautiful image of Anna and Elsa. Here's the logo. It says Frozen Classic Storybook Set. And then this is a brief shot of what everything's gonna look like. Mattel. There is Olaf, Sven, and Kristoff. And this is the window where everything is gonna be seen here. So we have a nice array of characters to look at. We have Anna and Elsa in their Frozen One outfits. Kristoff in his Frozen One outfit. It <laughs> looks like a carrot for Sven. That is Grandpobby the Troll, Sven, and Olaf. Really exciting. This side looks like it's storybook pages, like the side of a book. And this side has the Frozen logo, and of course, Anna and Elsa on it again. This is the back of the box and it has a bigger shot of everything that's included. And actually out of the cardboard, we can make a sleigh. Disney Frozen classic storybook set. There is also a commentary that talks about Anna and Elsa. So I will read that here. Fearless Optimus Anna sets off on an epic journey, teaming up with rugged mountain man Kristoff and his loyal reindeer Sven to find her sister Elsa, whose icy powers have trapped the kingdom of Arendelle in an in eternal winter. I love that. And look at just the beautiful, cool, snowy background going on here. This is the look at what everything is gonna look like out of the box. It actually looks like we have a Christmas tree as well, as long um, as, as well as this really cool sleigh that we're gonna get to build. And then there's the Mattel information. So the way to get this open, there is just a little tab here with tape. Going to put that, and then of course there's cardboard tabs. It opens up like its own storybook and just feels like you're entering another world. So nice, and I really like these images on the inside of the packaging as well, so nice. So what we'll do is we will look at the cardboard stuff later, but we're going to take the characters out and take a closer look at them. piece of tape up here. Just need to snip that. I think a lot of the cardboard stuff for the sleigh is in the back. Everything is held in with little plastic ties. First, we're gonna look at Elsa. Comes just out like so. She has a beautiful face. And this is the same on an Elsa face sculpt and paint that we've seen, just different outfits and different maybe detailing and just little variations here and there. And she has a beautiful sequin looking top with blue long sleeves and her cape is removable. I think to sit down in the sleigh or on Sven like to ride the reindeer, I think that you have to take the cape off but it's just a beautiful blue, like a very icy, crystally blue, and they've put glitter on it. 
really, really nice. And of course she has little shoes, you know, you can pose her legs. Very pretty. Oop, you think she could stand on her own? <laughs> Next we'll look at Anna. Anna is very similar to the one that we looked at with the Sven that she actually had the legs like that you could ride Sven, like, like she was like riding like a horse or like Jasmine was with Raja and Rapunzel was with Maximus. But no, this doll is not designed like that. She has the regular knees and the regular legs. But she might still be able to fit on him. We'll have to see. But I think in the sleigh, they just sit straight down like that. <laughs> so but we've seen this a little bit before. Um, I do feel like it's just a little different from the other one we looked at. It just has some similar rose mailing on here that's holographic. Some really pretty paint on her top, long sleeves, black boots. And actually her legs were completely black, probably like just to represent like under layering or like under, um, under layers, like for the cold. Her hair is down. And this is her cape details. The rest I don't think are really rubber banded in. I think it was just the two princesses. Here's Kristoff, he's got a very lovely look on his face, blonde hair, you can bend his arms and his legs. <laughs> so he can sit down like that, really cool. He's got blue sleeves and he's got this little waist tie thing, you know, that's a part of his outfit. And of course his hiking Arendelle boots. Really cool. Comes with a carrot, of course, for Sven, I would say. And it's all orange. Olaf is here. He's waving, he's like a hard plastic. Little branches, carrot nose, <laughs> his eyes, he just looks so sweet. Grandpoppy is a character, I think if you want him specifically, you have to have this set. I haven't seen him in anything else. So his hair is there, it's like a yellowish hair, and then he has the gray skin green cloak. It has really cool like troll detailing on it. Really neat. There are his gray hands and gray feet. <laughs> I like Grandpoppy. And here is Sven. He is the same as the other Svens we have looked at. Nothing different about him. But I have seen what Mattel has done. They have used the same Sven in different sets and different locations, you know, and of course, Sven is always the same. <laughs> so I think I have three Svens now. <laughs> so the background can be winter, or you can actually take these tabs and unfold it, and it can be summer or fall, maybe fall, because look, there's like orange and um, red trees, but you can change the weather by doing that. So that was really neat idea to me that you can change the, the seasons with Frozen. <laughs> and we will just set up all of the characters here and then we'll take a look at the cardboard pieces that the story also asks for. It's really like a lovely group of characters, you know? I love their collar palette, all of these together. Okay, so we have instructions to build the sleigh and we are going to do that. <laughs> oh, and it does talk here how you can change it from winter to another season. So we are going to do that. And then it talks about getting the landscapes and the trees up. And this is the actual piece of cardboard that has all the pieces in it. 
This, however, I think is the easiest one. Just wants you to make like a little scenery for the characters. Just bend these up this way. And then it becomes like a backdrop. So it's really cool. And then the tree seems very simple. I like how we get a tree though. It's really cute. There was a Christmas tree in the Advent holiday set too. Took a look at that a couple weeks ago. Super cute. I love that. Maybe the tree can go back there for right now. <laughs> so there are just three pieces, so it shouldn't be too bad. The Raya boat was a little difficult for me to build. <laughs> so the sleigh doesn't look as complicated. We first wanna pop everything out though. Okay, so what is our first step? First step is we take this middle piece and fold it like so. Got one side on and then we'll work on the other. This is a lot simpler than Raya's fishing boat. Much, much simpler. That boat had me like folding things. It was like origami. <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna survive making her boat, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> But no, this has been much easier. Just three pieces and they all fold together a certain way. And there's certain tabs you just have to line up and pop all of the unnecessary pieces off. Of course, we gotta get rid of that white part because if not, it won't look like a sleigh. Okay, and that's that's all, that's all it takes to make the sleigh so amazing. I love it. So much easier. <laughs> I wanna take some of the capes off, that way they can ride in the sleigh. Cause the capes are like a hard plastic and you're, they're not able to sit down with those on. <laughs> super, super cute. Suppose we could start recreating some movie moments, you know, with Anna and Kristoff. <laughs> Too bad the sleigh doesn't actually fit on Sven in any way. But if it did, that would be pretty awesome. Okay, everybody, that is all the details here of this Frozen Story Classic set. Really excited to have this, and I'm super excited to have everything together. It just looks so lovely, and you could recreate so many fun story moments with this. <laughs> so if you guys enjoyed, let me know, or let me know what you think of this set. And of course, if you haven't subscribed by now, or if you're not following me now, please consider doing so. <laughs> and stay tuned for my next video. <laughs> all right, bye-bye, everybody. See ya!